So it's happened again. Terror on the streets of Brussels. Over 30 people killed in a series of explosions there, many more injured. This Easter, our thoughts and prayers will be very much with the people of that city as they come to terms with what's happened. We'll also be praying for the Muslim community in this country, most all of whom, of course, hate such crimes and yet who feel in a very difficult position in the current climate. This incident also raises big issues for people of faith. Those who carried out those atrocities in Brussels were claiming to act in the name of the one God. How can that happen? How can people claim to be motivated by God in doing such terrible things? It's a tough question. But of course, incidents like the one in Brussels doesn't undermine faith in Jesus Christ. Rather, it helps us to understand why Jesus had to come. It helps us to explain his saving work, which we remember at Eastertide. In St John's Gospel, in the run-up to the cross, there's a short but very powerful sentence. Night had fallen, the evangelist writes. It's set at the Last Supper. Judas has just uh, been... Judas has just shown his that he intends to betray Jesus. Peter's act of denial has been prophesied. The community is falling to pieces. Everything is going wrong. The shadow of the cross hangs over all of them. Night had fallen. And that takes us to the heart of Easter. Jesus, who was born in the night time, does his saving work in the night time. Because in the deepest darkness, the light of his glory can be seen most visibly. From the darkness of betrayal, Jesus' work reconciles God and humanity so that through the, cr the cross and resurrection, we can be restored to right relationship with God. From the darkness of the cross, Jesus does away with sin and death. He absorbs it into himself such that it is defeated and these things don't need to hold any fear for us any longer. From the darkness of the tomb, Jesus springs up to glorious new life. There is a new creation the light of the glorious gospel will shine forevermore, transforming hearts and lives. Jesus worked in the darkness, and in so doing, he has addressed human darkness so that his light shines everywhere. Now, of course, that saving work won't be completed till Jesus returns in glory. Still today, we have to live with darkness, as we've seen in recent events in Brussels, Still today we live with denial and betrayal and faithlessness. But because of the triumph of Easter, we know two things. First of all, we know that no matter how deep the darkness may be, Jesus is there. Wherever there is human pain and suffering, Jesus is present. He's present this Easter on the streets of Brussels amongst those lost in grief and pain, just as he's present in the lives of all those who suffer. And the second thing we can be sure of is that Jesus has won the victory. Though the darkness may endure, its days are numbered. Sin and death have been defeated. Christ has won the triumph, and all in the end can only be glory. This Easter then, as we pray for the people of Brussels, we do so solemnly, we do so mournfully, but we also dare to do so in hope because the message of Easter is a joyful one. Christ is risen. The night has been replaced by the glorious new day of the resurrection. Happy Easter.